The 2009-10 PSAC women's basketball season was one for the ages, as several records were set and one team, Gannon, came within two wins of a national championship. Although several of the top players in the conference departed after last season, the 2010-11 campaign that is about to get underway offers lots of hope and promise for several teams in a season that looks as wide open as any in recent memory. The preseason polls certainly reflect that sense of parity that should take place in the PSAC this year, as eight of the 16 teams in the conference, four in each division, received first place votes. Defending East champion Millersville leads the way in the East as the Marauders picked up over half of the first place votes, with Bloomsburg, Kutztown, and Westchester all expected to be in the hunt for the division crown. Over in the West, perennial contender California is the choice of half of the division's coaches to reclaim the spot atop the standings, while fellow annual contender IUP, as well as Erie County residents Gannon and Edinburgh, are also expected to be in the mix. Now it's time to take a look at each PSAC team. Let's start in the PSAC East, where both Mansfield and East Stroudsburg are tied for 7th in the PSAC East poll. The Mountaineers graduated just one senior, and with four returning starters, head coach Ruth Hermanson will have one of her most experienced teams in recent years. Leading the way is preseason All-PSAC pick Mallory Moore, who a year ago ranked in the top 15 in the PSAC in four different categories, points, rebounds, free throw percentage, and steals, all while scoring in double figures 21 times and recording eight double-doubles. A new era brings hope for a young team at East Stroudsburg where Maureen Smith takes over the Warrior program after it struggled through a 4-23 campaign in 2009-10. This season, East Stroudsburg will not have any seniors, and seven of the ten players on its preseason roster will be either freshmen or sophomores. Cheney will be the textbook definition of a new and young roster as the Wolves will have an entirely 100% different team than last year as not a single player from that veteran roster returns this season. With all new faces, head coach Marilyn Stevens will be looking to continue the recent success of the program which has played in two of the last three PSAC tournaments and won seven divisional games in each of the last three seasons. Shippensburg will have to contend with the loss of the PSAC's all-time leading scorer in Lauren Beckley, who graduated following a record-setting career with the Lady Raiders. However, the Raiders do return the other half from last season's most powerful 1-2 scoring punch in the league in senior Casey Gardner, who is the leading returning scorer in the PSAC, having finished third overall at nearly 19 points per game. Kutztown will look to return to the PSAC tournament for the third straight season on the back of standout Melissa McQuaid, a two-time first-team All-PSAC East pick. The senior, who will likely become Kutztown's all-time leading scorer this season, leads an experienced team that also includes fellow seniors Meredith Starr and Kristen Murray. Westchester finished strong last season, which included scoring a double overtime upset of top-seeded Millersville in the PSAC Tournament quarterfinals, and will return three starters as it aims for its fifth straight PSAC playoff appearance. The Golden Rams will feature one of the league's best backcourts with senior Megan Stewart and junior Allison Hostetter, who combined for 213 assists last year. Bloomsburg has undergone a remarkable transformation in head coach Bill Cleary's two seasons, going from last place in the East two years ago to third last year, which came with the program's first PSAC tournament appearance since 2005, and all of which happened with a roster that featured only two players above sophomore eligibility. The Huskies will be aiming to go a bit further in the postseason this year and will look to the last two East Freshmen of the Year to lead them there in junior Kelsey Gallagher and sophomore Dana Wheeler. Millersville, which has qualified for the PSAC tournament a PSAC best 14 straight seasons, is favored to make it 15 this season with nine returning letter winners from last year's 25-6 and six team that played in the NCAA Regional Finals. Leading the way is sophomore Mashira Newman, one of the top freshmen in the league in 2009-10, and senior Dominique Stroman, who will be the only senior on an otherwise young team. 
Shifting our attention to the PSAC West, Lockhaven should have one of its most experienced teams in recent years as the Lady Eagles look to climb up the West standings. They return four starters, five of their top six scorers, and their top four rebounders. Leading the way is last year's leader in both scoring and rebounding, Kristen Kudrick, and juniors Sheree Hall and Peaches Neesmith. There is a new coach at Slippery Rock as Tanya Longo takes the reins of a program that has just one PSAC tournament appearance in the last eight seasons. In order to make it back to the postseason this year, Longo will need to successfully blend a roster that features just one senior in Grace Paulusis, seven returning sophomores, and eight newcomers, including four junior college transfers. Veteran Clarion head coach Guy Parsons will have one of the youngest squads of her career as only two players who saw any action last year return in 2010-11. The duo of juniors Courtney Healy and Joanna Catalano combined for just 7.3 points per game last year and this year will be joined by 11 true or redshirt freshmen who will make up nearly 80% of the roster. As Mercyhurst will be looking to qualify for its first PSAC tournament in this, its third season in the league, the Lakers may have just the veteran team to do so. Senior and preseason all-conference pick Amy Achesinski, the team's leader in both scoring and rebounding the last three seasons, leads the way for the Lakers, who return all five starters, including fellow senior Samantha Lodeman and juniors Nikki Fredrickson and Megan Hoffman. Now entering his 24th season as head coach at Edinburgh, tied for the longest current tenure in the PSAC, Stan Swank will have to contend with the loss of two of the greatest players in program history in Kelsey Conklin and Samantha Reimer. However, there is still a plenty of talent for the Fighting Scots to stay in the upper half of the West, and junior Renee Brown, a former West Freshman of the Year and the team's leading rebounder last season, will lead the way after averaging nearly 13 points a game as a sophomore. After a 37-1 record and a trip to the Final Four, it will be tough for Gannon to duplicate last season, as the Lady Knights lose all five starters from last year's record-setting team. All of the supporting cast from last season's PSAC and NCAA Regional Championship team do return, however, and that group is led by preseason all-conference pick Julie Kleber, as well as fellow senior Shauna Thompson, a pair that combined for nearly 16 points and over 7 rebounds per game. IUP will be aiming for its sixth straight PSAC playoff berth, and in what looks to be a wide-open race, the Crimson Hawks should contend for the West title as well. IUP's expectations are high as its top three leading scorers return in seniors Lacey Clore and Aaron Withers, as well as last year's Freshman of the Year in the Western Division in Sarah Pastoric, all of whom averaged double figures. California is looking to continue one of the most impressive streaks in conference history, one that has seen the Vulcans advance to the conference championship game in the last ten consecutive seasons. Although they will have to replace the production of Brooke Williams, who ended her career as the third leading scorer in PSAC history, the Vulcans will have one of the best players in the conference once again this year in forward Kayla Smith, the only returning player in the PSAC to average a double-double in 2009-10.